Microsoft Active Directory, a directory service, introduced with Windows 2000 Server in 2000, authenticates and authorizes all users and computers, a kind of database that contains users, groups, computers, services, and corresponding attributes, the crown jewels of a corporate network, and its Achilles heel. Worst case hack, a complete compromise of your directory service, consequences are, the attacker can impersonate every user, the attacker can access every server system integrated into the directory service, the attacker can access modify any unencrypted data stored in that environment, the attacker can even access modify encrypted data in that environment if Microsoft's data protection API is used. User enters credentials, LSASS process generates hashes and sends them to the server. Server compares hashes and if RK authenticates user. Pass the hash means, an attacker does not know the real password, so he steals the hash from the client, sends the hash directly to the server, gets authenticated, and finally has access to the resources of the hijacked user. With Mimikatz an attacker can read the hashes directly from the LSASS process, he only needs debug privileges. Using the Secur LSA module he reads the LM and NTLM hashes from the memory. And, here we are. Kerberos Authentication Overview User enters credentials LSASS process generates user key Authentication service request with user key is sent to the server If authentication is successful, a ticket granting ticket is provided The TGT is used to request a service ticket, for example to access a file server. Finally the service ticket is used to access the requested resource. Pass the key. Attacker injects user key directly into the LSASS process, and doesn't need the Cardex password. He gets the TGT and the service ticket, and has access to the resources now. Pass the ticket. The attacker injects a valid TGT into the LSASS process, requests a service ticket, and accesses the resources. Mimikatz can also extract tickets from the LSASS process memory. Same can be done with the service ticket. Golden ticket, a self-made ticket granting ticket. Silver ticket, a self-made service ticket. What is required for these attacks to work? An initial attack vector like executed email attachment, drive-by download from malicious website, or an exploited vulnerability, access to a client workstation, hijacking the user of the client, elevated privileges, for example local admin rights. These are examples of past incidents. Let us have a closer look to the Bundestag hack from 2015. Information was taken from public resources, a short time breach, which means weeks, date of initial compromise is unknown, at least to the public. Timeline of the Bundestag hack. Bundestag administrators detect some suspicious behavior. 
start of attack, based on BSI estimation. Attacker compromises 5 to 6 admin passwords with Mimic Cats. Attacker elevates privileges and starts accessing resources. First hints came up regarding a possible incident. German Secret Service informs about two hack systems. Investigations and problem solving starts. A short summary, complete active directory was compromised. Four days downtime for the complete network. The initial attack vector was a client compromise via a trusted attack website. Root causes were identified as authentication and authorization issues. Detection and mitigation. Successful detection of vulnerabilities requires root cause analysis of incidents and lessons learned. Mitigating controls require experience in large environments and a good understanding what is feasible. Active Directory security is not just about GPO settings. Experienced consultants and specialists can help. Another approach, automate identification of root causes for AD breaches, put experience and knowledge into a tool, make tool usable for daily business, solve the problem the tool is made for, nothing more and nothing less. Directory Ranger, a tool that detects technical and organizational issues by collecting security settings from your active directory, considering your operational procedures via questionnaire, recommending mitigations based on a decade of experience in enterprise environments, includes rating and prioritization of mitigating controls, detecting root causes that lead to successful compromises. The tool creates transparency about your active directory. These are the technical and organizational checks actually supported by Directory Ranger. Summary and Conclusion Identity management is the main target of attackers. In every big breach we are aware of, the complete identity management was compromised. There are tools and experts available that can help to mitigate the root causes. Protect your crown jewels. Follow us on Twitter. Thank you for your attention.